Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use macros in Phantom Forces. So, this does not require any gaming mice, it does not require any side buttons on your mice at all, it just runs off auto hotkey and uses your left mouse button. So, basically what the script does is it, um, when you hold down your left mouse button, it waits for 0 0.06 seconds, um, then it starts clicking, um, it holds it down for 180 milliseconds, then it'll repeat the entire thing, um, it'll just, um, hold down, then release, hold down, release. So, um, this is for, um, I'm showing you, um, the method for burst right now, um, semi-auto is a bit different, um, I'll show you that later. So, um, let me just turn this on, um, this number, um, 180 is tuned for the AK-12, um, yeah. So, that's why, um, I'm using the AK-12 here, and I'll switch it to burst. So, basically, uh, as you can see, it basically just turns it into an auto automatic fire, um, in burst mode, so I can get the elevated 1000 RPM. So, um, yeah, um, let me F5 out real quick, and I'll show you how to get those numbers. Or, just die. That works too. So, um, basically what you need for this is you need a calculator. So, um, what you want to get is your RPM for your burst, which is 1000 for this AK-12. Um, so you want to use 1000, um, wait, 1000, and then you want to divide it by 60 to get the revolutions per second, which is, for this weapon, 16.6666666, um, and then you want to get a 1000, and you, a 1000, which is your number of milliseconds in a second, it kind of sounds weird because the AK-12 has a 1000 RPM, but, um, you divide it by 16.6666666, whatever, and you get 60. So, um, then, for burst weapons, because, um, this one's a 3 burst, as you can see right here, you want to multiply this by 3, which you get 180, and that is why this number is 180. So, um, um, let me show you, um, a different weapon, um, let's say, uh, the AK-12BR, it has a two round burst this time, with a thousand, so it will be 120, like this, we save that, um, uh, so, um, I have to turn this off, so you go to your task manager, and you kill auto hotkey unicode 64-bit, um, or 32-bit, depending on what you're using, but, um, you just go to, um, here, and double-click that to run it, um, let me minimize these for real quick, um, so now we have the AK-12BR, so, basically, let me turn this to burst mode, it works, and, um, recoils a bit, um, yeah, because, uh, I didn't customize this yet, but, um, basically, um, it just turns your weapon into an automatic weapon using your left mouse button. Um, so, um, now let me show you how to do this for semi-automatic weapons. Uh, let me just go die real quick. There we go. So, um, what you want to do is you want to, uh, you want to, um, uh, let me turn this off real quick, it's still auto-clicking. So, basically what you want to do is that instead of, um, um, multiplying it by your burst or whatever that, um, number is, what you want to do is you want to take the, um, semi, um, the, where is it, um, yeah, um, let's take the SL8, for example, um, you want to take this number, the RPM of it, and then you want to 
do the same thing, divide it by 60 to get the RPS, um, 10.8333, so then you want to take a thousand, divide it by 10.8333, and you get this number. So, with this number, you don't want to put it directly in there, you want to divide it by 4, because, um, semi-automatic weapons benefit from a higher, um, a faster macro. So, then, um, we'll just sleep, um, 24, I round up, so it doesn't do some weird stuff, but, um, so basically, um, you want to turn this on, um, um, that's my OBS, um, so we just go in, as you can see, it fires fast. There we go. Um, but yeah, basically it just fires and stuff. Um, but um, if you want, you could always put in the ninety for whatever it was. Um, but um, let me kill this real quick and run it. There we go. So um, if you do this um, it's a bit slower. Um, it doesn't really um. It doesn't really make too much of a difference, but, um, yeah, you could do it whatever way you want. Um, but, um, basically now, um, uh, I should probably go die real quick instead of trying to get out of here. Um, yeah, no, um, my F5 doesn't seem to work today, I'm sorry. Um, uh... Uh, okay. There we go. So, um, basically, uh, what you need to do is you need to go, um, download auto hotkey from, um, this site. It's basically scripting language. You want to download it and you just want to install it. So, um, then you, um, come here then you can in your new there's an auto hotkey script and you just create that and you um paste the script in change the sleep whatever you want to do um so um it doesn't really um matter if you want to use your um like 0 0.06 like i have it on um you could always use 0 point um one that works too um basically um so basically um if you change this it won't really matter um so you might be wondering um i have sound side mask buttons on my um thing um how do i use them so using your side mouse buttons will be a bit more complicated so what you want to do is you want to um run this script that i made um it's also on auto hotkey basically what this does is it literally just shows you your key history so you just run this it'll take out this um then you basically just want to click whatever your side mouse button is um as you can see i have x button one and x button two so yeah we just um close that um oh yeah escape to exit so um and then you want to um open um whatever your script is, um, it was this one, um, then you want to change this to whatever the name of your key is, like X button one, for example, then, uh, you want to change this one to X button one as well. And then you want to change this one to X button one as well. Well, whatever your key name is, basically. Um, this needs to be capitalized. Okay. So, since we have this now, we just double-click this, uh, it's still on the SLS, yes. Okay, so, basically, um, I'm holding down my X button 1, it works. Um, yeah. So, this is me, um, spamming the left mouse button. 
this is me holding it down. Um, yeah, so the macro does work. Um, so, uh, I will put the scripts in the description. Um, and, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.